Hello everybody and thanks for checking out my review. Today I'll be going over the Casio Guiaz GS1300B1. Uh, of course it comes in the normal uh, black box with the red uh, with the red line throughout. And opening it up, simple manual. The module number 5040 if you wanted to check it out at Casio.com. Instructions before you get into it. It is a little bit of a uh, Harder watch to learn, but uh, once you know it, pretty easy to get through it. And of course, it comes with the bronze type of a uh, packaging with the tin. Got the three dimensional red G on top with the inverted uh, writing on the top or on the surrounding of the G. And of course, you have the watch. You know, some brands, they have a number of types of watches that offer features that are very distinct within that brand. For instance, you know, the G-Shocks that a normal review have a good strong resin. You know, most have digital displays, maybe a G-Shock logo, shock resistance. This one, they tend to separate itself from the rest of the pack, if you will. Um, instead of the resin, it's got a rubber type of a strap. Um, I have done a Giaz uh, before, and they kind of uh, evolved since then. If you look at the dial, it's more of a three-dimensional look. Of course, it's got the stainless steel screw-back design on the back case. Stainless steel buttons. And it's got like a black finish along the rest of it, along with a little bit of resin on the sides. Stainless steel on the top and the bottom. They put a couple of inserts there that are stainless steel. Overall, it's of course a very strong watch. And it's got a lot more features than the previous version. So uh, I'm going to start off with uh, saying this is a multi-band 6, which uh, of course syncs up with the towers in the U.S., the U.K., uh, Germany, Japan, and two different towers in China. Um, it's got the tough solar with the power save. It's got uh, five months on a full charge. And that's not using, uh, you know, not keeping it in the light, pretty much just keeping it in a drawer. Uh, it's got this uh, new movement that Casio's been putting out. It's called Tough Movement. Basically, uh, every hour before the hour, five minutes before and five minutes after, it kind of adjusts itself. So this way the second hand and the minute hand stays on the uh, ticks around the dial there. It's got world, tw uh, world time in 29 different time zones, including daylight savings on and off. You can also swap the world time with the primary time. It's got an alarm, a countdown timer, and it's got a stopwatch that uh, goes up 24 hours. On the back, by the way, if you ever get confused of which, the, which buttons do what, you'll notice on the back they give you a little adjust, mode, reset, and start. And going around the dial, like I said, it's got kind of a, a three-dimensional look to it. It's got a dual-layered dial little writing on the top of the uh, the three sub dials the date around the four o'clock it's got the 24 hour dial on the six o'clock got a little mode and a day on the three o'clock dial and this is your stopwatch dial on the right sub dial there at the three o'clock and going through the features you of course have the stopwatch so it sets itself up automatically. You'll notice that the 3 o'clock dial zeroes out as well as the second hand. And this registers in 1 20th of a second. Going to the next feature, you've got the countdown timer. And the 3 o'clock sets itself at the time that you chose. The nice thing about this is it's real easy to set. So every time you press the button at the 4 o'clock, you'll notice that the timing moves. It's a 24-hour stopwatch, or timer, uh, countdown timer. And pressing the top button, you'll notice that the second hand reverses, just like the MRG, or I'm sorry, the MTG that I... Uh, reviewed earlier. 
and then it resets itself of course and you've got the world time function so the second hand moves around the dial and it'll tell you if you look in there I always have it set for Los Angeles and you'll notice that the sub dial on the right side backs itself up three hours to account for the time zone that you're looking for and then like I said if you press the button up here it'll actually swap the time with the main time and pressing the bottom button we will go around the dial for whatever time zone you're looking for next feature is the alarm nice thing about the G-Shock alarms when you're dealing with the analog watch is is you don't have to worry about the alarm going off twice a day because it automatically knows AM and PM and then goes back to the main time and the nice thing about the atomic time by the way is when you press the top button for a couple of seconds it's not showing it and I think that the reason it's not showing it is because it's still setting itself into the main time mode there we are same thing as before with the swapping of the time you'll see they went on the N which means last night it did not sync but uh, normally if I keep this near the window, it'll go to the little Y there, and that'll show you that it's synced for the uh, with the tower the night before. Um, it does check itself six times a night, so um, if you put this by a window um, during the course of the night, six times it'll try to get the signal, so this way adjust properly for the timing. Unfortunately, um, Casio does not do the greatest job on the loom when you're dealing with these types of watches, so it's not like you can put this by a bright light and, you know, eight hours later it'll still be kind of lit so you can see it in the middle of the night while you're waking up. Um, and there's no button that'll turn a light on, so that's the only downfall of these watches. But I'll tell you what, it's a very attractive style watch. Uh, it's a little bit thinner than the previous ones that they've released. It's got uh, the straps that you can screw on as opposed to using spring pins. And it's just an attractive watch. Like I said, Casio's just coming a long way as far as the looks and the designs and you know they're just breaking through with technology and introducing them immediately, not making you wait. So um, I think this is one of the better analog, analog watches that you can find on the market. So if you're looking for one, I hope uh, that this video helps you make your decisions or helps you figure out how to use these watches. Thank you very much for checking out my review and have a good day.